Hello one and all and welcome to another episode of Between Sisters. I'm Kaya and I'm here with my sisters, my road dogs, my Sancho Pay, Monte Carlo, and Bali homies. First in, we got Shauna Dawn. Next in, we got Eve. -E. Hey, Next in, we got the K, the I, the S, the H, the A. It's Keisha. <laughs> you said in the last video you was going to do this. <laughs> that you was going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, ladies, we back in full effect, homies. But you know what's not in full effect? <laughs> the black delegate. Apparently everything we say is getting shot down like an air missile. Mm. So the latest in the stratosphere of wanting to be canceled is Dave Chappell. That is right, comedian Dave Chappelle has gone to Saturday Night Live after um, a short protest from the Saturday Night Live writers. Was it really a protest though? Cause I only heard just one person didn't come to work that day. So <laughs> no, but no, I'm just saying. So is that a very a very infinitesimal protest? Okay, because I'm just like, <laughs> is that a protest if it's only one person <laughs> that didn't show up that day? I'm just saying. Okay, well, how about this? Somebody just ain't like the fact that he okay, was coming thank you, thank on you. Saturday Night Live. That's no bad. You know, <laughs> due to his previous uh, jokes regarding the trans community. But in this particular episode that he came on, he didn't have time to speak about the trans community. <laughs> he sure did. No, because he had other things to tackle. Okay. <laughs> and in his 14 plus minute monologue, and again, I say, because I did see Dave Chappelle this May in Atlantic City, and I like Dave. He is a comedic genius. Mm -hmm. yeah. But again, I say that that 14 plus minute monologue was meticulously put together. Clever. It was very clever. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. He went from, he, he said, there's two words and I, and I preface, I preface, <laughs> What what we're what we're about to talk about again by saying once again you that we are Jewish, it. so don't try to come for us because we are it's Jewish. Proven, 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 proven Jews it's in the bloodline. In it's the bloodline, so so don't don't try to come, <laughs> don't try to come over here Just and protest. Don't try to protest saying that we anti-Semitic. Nah, -uh. yeah. You better have I'm Jewish floating across that street the whole, the whole episode. The I'm whole Jewish. episode. You I'm better Jewish. have a banner right I'm around Jewish. the squares. I'm Jewish. <laughs> Jewish. I'm Jewish. <laughs> Woo. Let somebody come in on the 30, 30 minute mark <laughs> and not write and not re and, watch the whole show. And <laughs> And then you go go to commercial. It's gonna be like a Hanukkah commercial or something Ooh. like that. <laughs> like you gonna have a, a Hanukkah commercial. Oh, you listen, have listen. A I just want to say, he said, "There's two words that you cannot put in the same sentence, <laughs> the, and that is the, the and Jew." And, <laughs> and is that not the truth? It's hilarious. <laughs> And no. the thing about it is, what he said, it was a com comedic skit. Right. But right. yet and still, people still tried to come for him <laughs> after the fact and saying that he's following Kanye's rhetoric. 
Like, <laughs> okay, so let's start with the definition. The definition of anti Semitic is feeling or showing discrimination or hostility against the Jewish people. Nothing Dave said was hostile or discriminatory. <laughs> so how is it anti Exactly. <clears throat> That's not the definition. He didn't discriminate. He didn't show any hostility. He made some jokes. He used the N-word on live TV. Mm. Nobody said anything about that. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Listen, Dave is very clever. Um, I love the way how he's able to make points. Mm. Yes, that's what I was going to say. He's able to make the he points. points. He like skims right by it. Like, oh, you think he I was going to say that? Oh, nope. The line. Oh. He told oh. that line. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I'm coming he back. Told <laughs> that, that line. I love the part when he said, you know, in the past, he, he would, you know, hook up with um Kanye mm -hmm. when he was going through something. But he said this time, he said, if you stand to the side and say, he's like, <laughs> And that's his friend. He made fun of his friend. But wait, when he said um, they were so mad at Kanye that Kyrie got in trouble. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, <laughs> Kyrie got in trouble. Like, damn, they like, just threw everybody in the pot. He said, he said, I've, I've been, I'm to Hollywood. He said, <laughs> It's a lot of Jews. It's a lot. <laughs> he said it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But then, but then he said he also went to Ferguson. That it's a lot of black people there, and that didn't make a difference. So it's just he said <laughs> jokes. He, he made jokes. He said he, he said when it, he said when it's a lot of black people, it's a gang. When it's a lot mm -hmm. of Italian people, it's a mob. When it's, it's a lot of Jewish people, it's, it's a coincidence. A coincidence. It's never to be spoken about. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't talk about it. But it's true, though. It's true. You cannot speak about them at all. You know, Dave Chappelle had talked about the LBGTQ community, and he said, he was like, we're not, um, how he put it? We don't, he says, not that we don't like y'all. He said, we're jealous of y'all. Mm -hmm. Because how did y'all, how did y'all do that so fast? Yes, right. And even with, with, I can't even say the Jews, with the Jewish community, <laughs> got me shook. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, I applaud them because you can't even blink your eyes and do uh, 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 whatever, make a symbol about them. You just, you don't play with them. But look, at the end of the day, a gay white man or a Jewish white man is still a white man. So at the end of the day that they can speak about, you know, it's not about, about race, but it is. That, that, remind, that remind you so that. It is. You, you said that, and I was at I my one of my last jobs. I'm not going to say the name of it, but you guys know when I was helping, I was an event planner or whatever, and I was helping the white a white gentleman with his jacket, mm -hmm. and the white gentleman's friend was just like, "I can't believe you're having a nigger help you with your jacket." What at my job, and I was just like. And then the manager on hand at that time, I told the manager, he was just like, well, if it makes you feel better, I'm a gay man and I get it all the time. And I was just like, nobody would know that you're gay. That's the, yeah. 
Nope. I, I didn't know you was gay until you just you told just me. said something. Right. I, they had they said I can't believe you let a Jewish person put you. Oh, his whole his whole career would have been shut down. His house would have been um taken from him. He his parents would have been taken from him, okay? Mm -hmm. So the fact that we, you know, we gotta get better. We gotta get better. It, you know, indirectly, we don't have we don't have a group that we can like in, in that case that you had, mm -hmm. you should have been able to make a phone call. Right. And shut everything down. Like you should have made a call a group and say bop 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 happened to me and that whole building would have been shut down that whole facility it could have been and that person could have been a guest in that building mm -hmm. and that whole establishment would have been shut down it would have been red tape they would have had the newscasters there and that would have been broadcasted about what happened to this young black lady mm -hmm. we don't helping. have that helping we doing my job we don't use the power that we have all the time. When someone asks us them to boycott something, our first thing is, no, I need that. I got to get my, you know, and it's just like, if we only didn't shop for like a day, the system would shut Girl. down. Me and Hubby was talking about that a couple days ago. Well, we don't uh, understand our power. Our power. So until we get that together, like we do at times. I remember it was in Alabama. I think it was when, what was his name? Was running, was it? was it Roy Moore and they thought that that he was going to win and he had been proven to be um, harassing women and a, and a pedophile and all this other stuff and I remember that black women said mm -mm. They came out, they voted, he lost. So I just think that we need to assert that, that power a lot more. And and going back to Dave, and I think I, I feel like I'm always throwing this out there, like I'm having tantrums. It, it, there gotta be more Daves. Mm -hmm. He's, he, it can't just be him oh, on that pushing, island pushing the envelope. Or what is it called? Like by itself. Yeah. So, but the problem I find is that everyone's afraid of losing that power, that little power that they gave them. Mm -hmm. So you have all these rappers, these cel celebrities that if they stepped up to the plate and if they said, listen, black people, we're not going to spend our money for one entire day. Don't even, don't even buy a, ch a chicken leg. Don't go to KFC, don't go here, don't go there. For one day, eat what's in your house. Don't buy anything, don't go on Amazon, don't mm -hmm. do anything. If you have a hundred celebrities, black celebrities, that are willing to risk the money that they could be making mm -hmm. for, the, the, um, for the sake of the greater good, but we will never get that. But they have that amongst themselves. They have that. We don't have that. But, okay, so, even if they don't do that, I would rather them just not say anything than to them to go on on TV and then say, oh, I don't agree and he's this and he's that. And I just just don't just don't say anything. But it's sad because <laughs> I, you know, it, it's. You know, I know Dave made it. Dave made the situation lighter, and and you got to laugh about the situation. But it's really sad that we've come to this point where we are like, all we could do is shut up and dribble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where it's getting to for all of us. All we could do is shut up and do what you do. Don't come out that box. 
Mm-hmm. Nigga, do it. Entertain us. Entertain us, nigga. That's what you can do. But there were actually people from uh, people of the of the Jewish faith who said he didn't say anything wrong. It was yeah. funny. Yeah. Did you see the um? There's a a, a video that's going viral. I think it's, it's, his good friend John Stewart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did y'all see that video with the guy in Brooklyn? He stops this random Jewish guy. He has he has the whole garb on. And he's like, let me ask you, uh, are you offended by what um Kyrie Irving did? He was like, no. He was like, well, you need to say something. Come on, tell these motherfuckers that you're not offended. Tell them. <laughs> I was like, damn. But the dude was like, I'm not offended. <laughs> so, but see, the, the difference with those of the Jewish faith is they won't go against mm-hmm. what someone of that same faith says. Mm-hmm. That's like Democrats together. and Republicans. That's like Republicans and Democrats. It's, it's, all together. A, it's all a gang. Everything's a freaking gang. Nobody wants to step out the box. We on the the other hand can't seem to get like with us if we like out and about the sisters is out and about and somebody do something wrong or say something and then we get into a fight with other people or argument I will back y'all up out in public but then was it just us in the car I would be like, why did you say that to the people and had us? And you started, and if we're going to you, all we go get. But God, give me a, lose my job. <laughs> but that's in the car. We don't do that. We'll have the shacks and, you know, and the Charles, uh, them to go and say, oh, some Kyrie is this and you know he's dad and it's just like did you really even need to lebron on it lebron you could have said no comment bro yeah that's and i think i would have much rather him do well that it seems like now do. everybody's changing their tune well yeah because n- now they have this list of all the things he needs to do which now goes back to slavery and buck-breaking. buck-breaking. And we're going to make an example out of you. Now it's just like, whoa, whoa, wait, now that's too far. What you expect for them to do? So y'all co-signed it. And again, he didn't say anything of about the, the the movie itself, he said he was doing his own soul searching and finding out about his name, and he just stuck that up there. And he, Dave Chappelle was like, "Oh, I bet you if I put a movie uh, Schindler's List on oh, it, they yeah, 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 come yeah, up with yeah, yeah. He said, he said, ah. he said, "Oh, y'all be happy, right? <laughs> exactly." <laughs> but see, the oh, thing about it is. Adam Silver watched the movie, the documentary, and I I watched the documentary. I actually watched it a few times because the documentary is like three plus hours long. Mm -hmm. And the documentary, (laughs) you got to go through the pages. And I downloaded the book. Like the documentary is $50, number one. Yeah, Um, well, we know that Jeff Bezos done raised that that price after Kyrie posted it. Yeah, you know. Well, no, their Bezos don't make the price. The person makes the price. Oh, okay. So they the make the price. The person raised it. Yeah. So after number Kyrie one, as it. as as a as as a video producer and editor myself, baby, <laughs> you know. Like they use the they use they use the plugins from Final Cut that come with the come with the thing. Like they didn't even buy no plugins. 
Like I pay for my plugins. <laughs> Like, doggone it. Yeah, you couldn't even, like, like change the plugins? Like, I'm just like, you couldn't even, like, do no different transition. Like, they use, like, some of the most basic transitions. Okay, but, but that has nothing to do with the movie kind. It does. But <laughs> if you're going to charge $50. <laughs> <laughs> Her pockets were hurt that day. You was mad. You know, like, you know what I could do with this $50? Inflation is a bitch. You can't even get a pack of chicken for fifty dollars. I'm buying it. <laughs> now there was some there was some scathing things regarding um, the. I don't feel like that the movie was anti-Semitic. It was mm -hmm. anti-European. Mm. Um, regarding them being the original descendants of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and they definitely did a lot of research. There was a lot of research jam packed into that th them three hours. Mm -hmm. And if you blinked, you'd have missed a whole bunch. <laughs> now there were some things in there that was supposedly they took a a, supp a supposed quote from Hitler mm. saying that the Americans the uh, the Americans are crazy because they actually took the real Hebrews and brought us here while the imposters are mm -hmm. the you know, imposters that's why they probably feel that it's anti-Semitic yeah and did Hitler really say that? well that it was um and they did say that it was a supposed quote from Hitler. Oh, okay. So, so they didn't say, right. you know, it wasn't it. like it was a definite quote. So, yeah. but still, you know, they did quotes from Henry Ford, who was a, a staunch against um, Jews. Um, they did some quotes from some other Ashkenazi Jews that were actually murdered that dropped bombs not mm. drop bombs, but dropped, like snitched on them, mm. you know, from back in the day. I mean, there was a whole bunch of things, but then they also had a whole bunch of information, like the the DNA based on the the type of tribes that what 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 your DNA base would be, your haplo group would be if you were a descendant of mm -hmm. an Israelite. Mm -hmm. So like they did those g genetic markers, right. like those were there in there. Mm -hmm. And they were like, and only those markers are found in melanin people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And haplogroup this, that, and a third. And those people that are of European descent don't, don't have, have those that. markers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even with the Yiddish, mm -hmm. the Yiddish language, the Israelite, the Hebrew Israelites, the original Hebrew Israelites didn't speak Yiddish. That Yiddish is a more newer mm -hmm. language. Mm. So, I mean, they, they went through a whole bunch of information and went all around the globe. Mm -hmm. um, but, but why is it when Black people go back Again, we were not asked to come here. We were forced to come here. So now when we go and try to find out our, our ancestors and our roots, when we go and start to do that- The research. That research and we say wow this is where i come from it seemed as anti-semitic but if this is what my bloodline is saying i can't argue with what my bloodline is saying message well that's why willie lynch said in that letter like right. you were talking to um that other show akish Willie Lynch, that, that letter said, you have to break them away from their history. Mm -hmm. 
right. that has to be cut. That's the mm-hmm. only way right. that you're going to be able to get them to fall in line. Mm-hmm. But, and I think I mentioned this before, I, I feel like we're like the aliens on this earth. I feel like, that's what I feel like. Cause like I, I said to y'all before, everybody is okay. Besides the Kardashians, everybody's okay to have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everybody don't want men, they, they color the mix of no blue. Everybody is not okay besides the Kardashians are having our blood in their bloodline. Listen, if you had, to, if you had told somebody they had Irish, Asian, they be okay, but as soon as you tell them they got a little nigga in their blood, what? Who told you? Who told you? Lied and told you that? They will die before they you you prove that they got a nigga in their blood. We like the aliens on this earth. We don't got we don't got no nigger blood. <laughs> Ain't no nigger blood here. This is pure. This pure. This pure. Nigga. So. And let me ask you guys that because I I mentioned that several times. Why do you think we're like the outcasts? Do you oh do you feel maybe maybe I'm assuming wrong? Maybe I'm I don't want to speak for the group, but how do you feel about my opinion about how we are deemed as like this alien on this earth? I really feel like that. Uh, about, like, like when you say. I'm like, how do I feel? Let me oh, do you agree with me? I'm sorry. That, do you agree with, that we are like the aliens on this earth. We are equivalent to aliens on this earth. I no. I just think that we, and I say this as a group. I'm saying this as black people, as a a whole. We don't know the power that we we have now now some of the black persons like they're you know like we n- know how how fly we are we know our worth we know the power that we hold but i but as a as a people we don't understand that they they are scared to death. The other folks are scared to death because they know their power time is up and they are doing everything they can to make sure we don't do to them what they have done unto us. Yeah, I was going to piggyback off of that because it's just like they know, they know our strength. They know what we're capable of. They want to be us. And they're they're envious because it's not them. So they're going to try to undermine and, you know, put us down and everything because they know that we have the ability to, if we all put our minds together and do what we need to do, oh, they know. They scared. They know. They know. They know in, they know. what is it, in, them in 2032, they are going to be the minority in this country but they'll never they'll always make sure that they are running everything that's why we have the voter suppression that's why we they trying to change the the, the district because that old boy stuff is gone like it's a they they're done. Now, if, if in 2032, if they still got the same positions they have, they'll be dead by then. I'm so, I'm sorry. I, I, look, I'm not trying to kill anybody off, but I'm just saying. I hope so. Is, I hope so. Age, but but like if if ready. you if you if you look at it this way, right? Because I'm just going through like the the major motion picture television studios, right? You got 20th Century, you got Universal, you got Paramount, you got Columbia, you got MGM, you got United Artists, you got Warner Brothers. The majority of these are all founded by 
somebody is yours. Those dude's two words is what, those two words you can't put in the same sentence. Dude's name, last name is Weinstein. Hello. So so in 2032, unfortunately, so all those companies you name in 2032, which is not that far, those companies would still be ran by them. So Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean you they know, still have they you know what it's equivalent to? It's gonna be equivalent to how you had probably a handful of white people with at least 300 black African slaves in a boat and a handful of white people able to bring these slaves across some waters. And you say to yourself like, how, like, like I remember when 9-11 happened, they were like, wait, so how many people were on the plane and how many people took over the plane? So I'm, I know I'm going really far with this to come back to say, yeah, in 2032, they might be the minority, but they, they will be running everything because they're not okay so they have they have they have the motion picture they have everything right let's look at the the federal banks the federal reserve Mm -hmm. who is who is in charge of who owns all of the banks that print the money that they give to to us Mm -hmm. because the federal reserve is a privately owned it's not government um, Amran. They don't know that though. Oh, hell no. (laughs) Just (laughs) the Federal Reserve is not ran by the feds. It's ran by privately owned banks. And Mm -hmm. who's running those banks? Mm Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is, and like, I, I'll, I'll say it again, because, you know, I got Jew, Jewish blood in my DNA, but I, I ain't got that. I ain't got that. I ain't tapped into that. No, you how, how, how come I ain't got, I ain't got, how, how come I ain't got, in, how come I ain't, what, what, what I did wrong, why, why I ain't get, Part of that, um, that nigga in your blood. <laughs> it's written all over your face, white green. <laughs> it's written all over your face. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Should they get Sammy Davis and Sammy Davis Jr.? Mm. Should boing boing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And that's why when it comes down to my spirituality, I just, I just stay in one lane because I can't, when I look too much to the left and right, I get really angry and I get really pissed off and it just saddens me. And I just try not to, I try not to look at the whole, cause if you really look, you'll be an angry black soul, an angry black soul, just looking at the way how this system is all, all designed. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like Monique, be black in America. Like- mm. Is to be angry. That's what. <laughs> if that's what it is. I feel like Monique and Welcome Home Roscoe Jenkins. Like, what's wrong with my tasty cakes, Co? Like, like, what's wrong with my tasty cakes? Like, like how come I, I didn't get part of that? I didn't get part of that. Welcome Home Roscoe. What's wrong with my tasty cakes, Co? Like, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get. We we didn't get none of that. Like we don't we don't get none of the um the 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 the, the monies we don't get no no endowments we don't get a handout a handout to start our our companies. Why well, you said what happens if I tasty cake? What's wrong with my tasty cake, Scott? You get you get the forty acres and a mule. We didn't get we didn't get nothing. And the thing about it is, and and this is one thing I can say about Umar, what he said is that they'll give us a a a a, a house loan, they'll give us a student mm-hmm. loan, they'll give us a car loan, but they won't give us a business loan. Mm-mm. Do you know how hard it is to get a business loan? As a black person, because that starts your generational wealth, and they don't want that for us at all. 
They they allow us to collect debt. They give you debt. I can get a credit card anytime. I just paid off. Try to try to get you a business loan. James Baldwin said it best: "To be a Negro and conscious in this country is to be in a constant state of of rage." And so, because every other day it's something that just be you know you just man I can't take this. you're just mm-hmm, like that mm-hmm, all yeah. the time mm-hmm. you ready to flip, you are yeah. ready to, um to flip over a table at any moment because it's just like what now mm-hmm. and and they expect us to be satisfied with our status mm-hmm. and what are you complaining about Listen, Linda. The blacks. The blacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, they say the, the blacks. blacks all the time. Don't say the, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the blacks. The well, black. like Betty said, what's wrong with my tasty cakes, go? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> anyway, as far as Dave Chappelle goes, he's not getting canceled. No. Dave Chappelle can't get canceled. Dave Chappelle is not getting canceled. He can. He can't get canceled. He's he he does his own get. shows on right. on his land in Ohio. He ain't getting canceled, <laughs> right? He's just like we built this city exactly. <laughs> we built this city on rock and <laughs> roll. Built this city. <laughs> no. Oh, so this is a little tidbit. So when you're watching Dave. There's a guy behind him. So when you're facing Dave, the guy to the right, the whole time he's like this. He doesn't clap at all. He clapped one time about <laughs> a, a nigga joke. But he's like, <laughs> but you and he, you knew he was um, of a certain descent. And he just like this. But he clapped <laughs> one time. I was like, yeah, you clapped on that black joke. <laughs> I grew up. Watching Richard Pryor, mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy, the Wayans. Message. They, they all had no Paul Mooney. Oh, Paul, Red Fox. Paul Mooney was the best. Dick Gregory. Paul Dick Mooney Gregory. Was, oh my God. I love Paul Mooney. What's, Paul what's, Mooney, what's, was, what's Test 2, baby? Um, what's oh, Test 2? Robin Harris. Robin Harris. Robin Harris, yes. Come on. <laughs> Bernie. Bernie Mac. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like stop. Oh Martin. Mar- yeah. Oh yeah. Martin. Run tell that Martin. No. Like, no. You so crazy. You Martin. so crazy Martin. But you know what it is I liked about Paul Mooney is that like Dave he would he would go there because a lot of kids didn't want to didn't want to go there. But yeah. Paul was a little so he was so raw mm-hmm. that when. When white people would get up, he said, I did my job. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I did Paul, my Paul job. said it best. He was like, y'all was so worried about the land, niggas. Y'all forgot about the sand, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and he would always hold his mic like this. Yeah. <laughs> I did my job. <laughs> look, look, at him, look at him. Look at him getting up and walking out. I did my job. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yes. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Paul Mooney. You did. And if you can't, if you can't laugh. Yes. Because we so sick at yourself. Right. Everybody feelings is hurt. Yeah. You know, real fast. It is just like. Really? Like I, I grew up. I grew up when people would crack on me all the time. Right. Me too. And you, guess what? I would just have to be wise enough and come up with stuff. And come up with something to real crack quick back. back. Yes. And if I couldn't think of nothing, that's why I came up with your mother. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Like, you could hear your mother. If you couldn't think of nothing, that's why your mother. Mother. <laughs> mother. And, and fit. Mother. Your mother. And fit. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, I think that um, comedy should stay comedy. 
Yes. And if you can't laugh at the things that cause some type of controversy. Yeah. Then sit down. Like go go in a bubble. Yeah. And and sit down. Or don't watch it. Yes. You don't have to go see these people. You don't have to pay to see them. You don't have to turn on their specials on Netflix. If you don't want to hear it, don't watch it. There are a yes. lot of people who will watch it. But yes. But I have something to add to that. And if you don't watch it, don't comment on what you didn't watch. <laughs> That's right. Don't comment on a snippet. On a snippet. Or what you heard about what, or what you, you heard watch. about it. Yes. No. <laughs>